Right now, a break in the case after the kidnapping and rape of a woman in Fort Lauderdale. Cops say she was carjacked and taken on a terrifying ride. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with who police have in custody. Roy. Nicole, we have learned that he is an Oakland Park resident linked to several violent crimes here in the Broward County area that include carjacking, kidnapping, and rape. And investigators we spoke with say more charges are likely to come. You are looking at the mugshot of 24-year-old Luvinsky Asime. He is who Fort Lauderdale police had carjacked a man and woman along Hemmershey Street in downtown Fort Lauderdale Saturday, August 12th. Surveillance video shows who police said is Asime walking through a parking lot in a green t-shirt before investigators said he carjacked the two victims. Eventually, detectives said the man in the car is able to jump out before Asime then drove away with the woman. The suspect uh, kidnapped the woman for about two hours, drove her around the city, uh, took her to an ATM, attempted to pull money out of one of her accounts. And we learned he didn't stop there. Police said he then raped the woman multiple times before leaving the victim and the vehicle on the side of I-95 where she was able to call 911. Roy Ramos with Local 10 News. While a seaman remains behind bars, I went to the Oakland Park home where we learned he lives with his father. While no one answered the door there, neighbors I spoke with were horrified after hearing of the violent crimes he's accused of. I want to be in a safe environment. And that's disgusting. For more than a week, Fort Lauderdale police searched for a seaman passing out flyers with hopes someone could identify him. But their investigation would ultimately lead them to learn he'd been arrested by BSO three days after the crime while fleeing from deputies who were responding to a robbery in Lauderdale Lakes. An exhaustive investigation led us to the identification of the suspect who, as I stated, was already in custody. And you may remember there was another carjacking that happened right here in this area we told you about on Friday. Well, investigators say that Asima is not linked to that crime, and they continue to search for a suspect in that case. For now in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Roy, thank you.